All right. I'm very happy to have our next guest back to the show. He's the uh, stay of his own network sitcom, News Radio, and his voice is uh, featured in the new Pixar animated Disney movie, It's a Bug's Life. And it opens today, uh, opens today in theaters all across the country, I believe. Please welcome Dave Foley. <laughs> Good to see you, Dave. Nice to see you. Thank you. Nice. Saw, uh, saw It's a Bug's Life today. Loved it. Ah, uh, yeah. See, you know what? Me too. Uh, <laughs> I loved it as well. It's a good movie. <laughs> I thought it was great. Yeah, it's uh, cool. I love the uh, animation method, that Pixar deal. It's, they've the come a long way since uh, Toy... Uh, what's it, what's uh, it Toy Story. Toy Story, yeah. yeah. They've come a long way since Toy Story. Yeah, well, they're saying this one's about ten times more sophisticated in terms of just the animation and the, uh, the techniques they use to make it. Yeah. Did you enjoy making the movie? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I have, um, I've got no material left. <laughs> no I did, material I did, about I, the movie? No, I did, like, I did a, a show last right. night. Right. Well, normally we wouldn't do this, but I, yeah. let's shoot for a real chat. Uh, okay. Right. I got no bits. Right. I got no, That's all right. Uh, well, bits is fine. We'll just okay. uh, see what we're going to do. Maybe, maybe people should I, see... I uh, want to do, uh, kill maybe, time? What do yeah, you wanna, what do you want to do? I don't know. All right. Well, we'll just Your chat. show. My, you know. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, try and, uh, I'll try and pick it up from there. Okay. Great movie. Hey! <laughs> okay. We, uh, I've, picked, I've picked up on a pattern right. here. We, right. I think we can do pretty well as long as we stick to... Nervous, uncomfortable laughter and cheap rounds of applause. <laughs> hey, we got both there. Yeah. Ah. Excellent. You, uh... Don't do that. You trust me, these are your people. <laughs> these are your people. Uh, now, the thing I enjoyed most about the film is the outtakes at the end. You don't see outtakes in an animated movie. I thought no, that whole concept hilarious. was hilarious. Yeah, that's why if you do go see the movie, yeah, stay, stay through the credits. Listen to the Randy Newman song, the end of the Randy Newman song. They, uh, they, did, uh, they did mock outtakes from the film. Uh, and they did them really, the details are great. Oh, it's I mean, fantastic, it's like, fantastic. You know, it's exactly like all Bad of those. Bad behavior on the part of the grasshoppers. It's yeah. great, really <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. Microphones hitting bugs in the head. Mm -hmm. was, uh, yeah, very, very the funny. The aphid urinating on uh, yeah. Phyllis Diller. Yeah, that yeah. was very funny, yeah. yeah. And uh, I guess the other thing I wanted to ask you was, how many days would a film like that involve? Because they only use your voice. I'm not, you know, I'm not really sure. Uh, I, did, I did the first session like two and a half years ago, and I did the last session about a month ago. Wow. It's so it's, time. yeah, it's been a long time. And, and the way they, they always get, they get you by saying, oh, it'll be like, you'll go in five, five sessions. They're guaranteeing you five sessions. You may not do five. Right. right. You know, and it'll be great work, and it's real easy. You well, know, it's a lot like doing radio. I imagine you stand there with a script in your hand. You don't have to memorize anything. Yep, that part's easy. The, yeah. the hard part. Do you actually work with the other actors? No, you they... ne I never saw any of them. So never you're playing against single... nothing. You're playing against nothing. You're in the room with the director, uh, and he's telling you what would be going on around you if something were going on around you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you, you know, and it, it requires you to do something that, as an actor, I really don't enjoy doing. Which is pretending. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Because then, then that, that brings in a whole level of craft and yeah. skill. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you're in a situation yeah. like that, do you fall back on uh, the method? Um, well, I, 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 of course, would fall back on, on the method. Yeah. But were I to fall back on the method, it'd be like doing a, you know, a, a trust exercise alone on a skating rink. Right. You know, it just been, right. you know, hello, method, bam. Yeah. Uh, the method yeah. would not be there for me. Right. Now, Uta Hagen would not catch me if I fell. <laughs> <laughs> That's, hey, theater majors. <laughs> They're all uh, dying for ice cream now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, news radio, you have a new character on the show, John, Lev John Lovitz, is yes. uh, taking over from the, uh, yeah, the late lamented the, the late uh, Phil, Phil Hartman. Hartman. Yeah, 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 John. Yeah, John has come in and uh, he's doing a great, great job. It's you know, it's, it's uh, nice to have him there. Uh, what's his yeah. uh, character? Does he take over where Phil's character? Uh... Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's the new on-air personality. Right. Uh, except that he apparently is from the year 1943. Mm. 
because mm -hmm. uh, that's what John is like. John is like every John is like every character actor from the '40s. He's got that that rhythm and that energy, right? right. You know, which is actually uh, actually the other night I saw him singing in Carnegie Hall. I didn't know he had such a beautiful singing voice. Actually, I saw him singing on uh, the Tonight Show a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I knew he had some pipes. Ah. So he's, uh, he's pushing what the soul of singing What was he doing, a charity a gig at the... Uh... He was doing a charity performance with uh, the New York Pops, led by Skitch uh, Henderson. Yeah. Skitch Henderson, yeah. of course, was a uh, drummer. Uh-huh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, was he? Actually he is. Is yeah. he? He's off piano. I'm sorry, player, I said I was. Oh, he yeah. was at the charity. No, no, no. He's obviously no, he, still with us. No, he was dead. Uh, oh, Skitch Henderson was dead. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, they, they just propped him up in the podium. There are... And, uh, <laughs> There was, you know what they did? There they are people in yeah. this business they, we call show who just give and I give know. and give, don't they? What, they? what they did was they get, put one of those sticks on his wrist and Frank Oz just made his hand go like this. <laughs> you know? It was, so it was, in a lot of ways, come to think of it, it was kind of sad. Yeah. You know? But you know not, what? Not to me and you, but to no, the rest no, of the world. No, no, it's entertaining yeah. Yeah. as well. Yeah. I believe you you're know. the one who thought uh, Adam McGoyan's uh, flick was a comedy. <laughs> The sweet here after. The sweet here. Oh, I still yeah. laugh when I think about it. <laughs> Look, watch, the bus is going to go through the ice. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Uh, hey, you also uh, got a new film out with Brendan, or actually just finished a new film with uh, Brendan Fraser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's coming Blast out in February. Yes. Brendan Fraser's still alive? Um, <laughs> yes. Okay. He's doing very well. Chris Good. Welkin's been dead for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he was fun to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this, yeah, this has... And you know, he's never looked better. I know. That's, that's true. Not so, yeah. And who knew, who knew all those years ago watching Annie Hall that that was really him? Yeah. Uh, you know? Oh, the headlights. The I love crazy. that scene. Yeah, yeah. I love the scene. He's, don't, uh, don't go into movie trivia because no, you and I will be the only no, ones who enjoy I, it. Yeah. Now you brought, you, brought a, you yeah. brought a clip from It's a Bug's Life with you. Well, I didn't personally. Somebody probably said it. Somebody said it. Over yeah, you. I don't travel yeah. around with a clip. No, I know. I know. <laughs> Yeah. And nobody would expect you. If you had had the clip with you, we would have sent somebody to get you and the clip. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Okay. Because we value that clip. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, take a look at this yeah. clip. <laughs> Kids, uh... Kids pulled off my wings. That would be your input, I would imagine, in the film. <laughs> no, no, they're, uh... John, the, uh, the Pixar people are pretty dark. Mm -hmm. They have a very dark sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great film. I recommend yeah. it highly. You should get out there and see it. Yeah. Something for the adults and the kids in that film. Mm -hmm. Now, this blast from the past. I asked you about it a couple minutes ago. We didn't really get yeah. a chance to talk about it. What's, what's, this, uh, what's the premise behind well, this that, film? That's the story. Uh, Brendan Fraser plays uh, a guy who was born and raised in a fallout shelter right. because his parents wrongly believed that World War III had started after the Cuban Missile Crisis. Mm -hmm. So uh, they locked themselves in this play in this fallout shelter and they lived there for 35 years right. and and at the end of 35 years the time locks go off the doors open and they they uh, send Brendan up to uh, assess the damage <laughs> look for supplies and if possible find a mate <laughs> to repopulate the earth now, I'm and, gonna ask uh, you what part you play and I'm gonna pray <laughs> <laughs> You're not the he's first a little misguided. He <laughs> <laughs> he's never seen a you know a woman other than his mother. Um, no, he uh, no. He fortunately. And, he, and all, they, all they've been watching on television is kids in the hall. Oh yeah. Episode, so. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, on, the, uh, on that note, Kids in the Hall, you ever see any of the boys? You ever see them anymore? Uh, yeah, I see, well, I see, Kevin and Scott live in L.A., so I see, right. them, I see them fairly often. And um, I haven't seen Mark or Bruce in a while. Um, so, um, we you had know, Mark here last week. That's what I heard. Yeah. I heard he was on. And Scott's, and I, just, I was just down in New York, and Scott's apparently going to be down there doing Conan this week, too. Oh, great. So we're, we're just missing. We're all just missing each other as we mm -hmm. travel around, mm -hmm. promoting each other. Yeah. What? Reunion. This, uh, this guy, uh, no, Reunion. This guy comes oh. every week. He's a huge Beatles fan. We I know. know. Look. <laughs> I tell you, there really can't be a Kids in the Hall reunion without John. Um, <laughs> no, we might do it. I don't know. We might. Right, you right? guys We're can figure out a way to prop him up. We're talking, yeah. All right, good. We're Dave talking. Foley. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
Nice great. Stay tuned for broadcaster and author Bruce Govigan.